the superficial back line. The superficial back line is one myofascial continuity from the bottom of the toes to the back of the head. The superficial back line has a strong postural function you cannot develop from lying on your back to lying on your stomach to sitting to progressively standing and walking without the superficial back line being constantly engaged and in a coordinated way. If you were to contract the entire superficial back line, you'd go into a back bend, a forward bend stretches it, uh, and it is all extensors except for the genetic flexion at the knee. It starts with the plantar fascia and the short toe flexors, continues around the heel and onto the Achilles tendon, which splits out into the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles, which are interlocked with the hamstrings at the knee and pass over the posterior side of the ischial tuberosity onto the sacrotuberous ligament and then onto the sacral fascia, which is the basis for the entire erector spinae complex and the multipetus underneath, going up to the neck extensors and the suboccipital muscles beneath these extensors and onto the epicranial fascia. The finish of the line goes over the top of the skull and attaches to the frontal brow ridge. Rear view of the superficial back line, SBL, which begins at the head extensors and descends through the erector spina to the hamstrings, the gastrocnemius, and the foot muscles. In this chain, the muscles are connected to one another and function as one unit. Wide-legged forward bend, prasarita padottanasana. The superficial back line connects and protects the entire posterior surface of the body like a carapace from the bottom of the foot to the top of the head in two pieces, toes to knees and knees to brow. When the knees are extended, as in the current pose, the superficial back line functions as one continuous line of integrated myofascial. 